All right. <laughs> What's up, boys? Hey, go. Let me try again. Let me try again. Let me try again. <gasps> What's up, boys? <laughs> my fucking god, this is actually happening. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Uh, let me try this one more time. Uno, dos, three. What's up, boys? It's your favorite internet shit, Lord Asla. <laughs> I almost did. Fuck. <laughs> Got him. Before I continue the shit post, my fake attorney has given me a statement to read. I am not a lawyer attorney type person. I am an internet shitlord that makes fun of a loser on the internet for funsies. I am not a legal wizard or a government know-it-all. I'm a guy who's sitting in a chair going, Hey, this is pretty fucking funny. And speaking of fucking funny, you guys remember the condo? The Connecticut condo? Try to get myself back into a healthy shape. Yeah, that one. Well, it's um getting foreclosed on. And you may be asking, why is the condo getting foreclosed upon, Oslo? I'm scared. And I tell you, it's because Phil didn't pay his bills. More specifically, the mortgage on his condo because the bank is coming back and they're like, bitch, where's my motherfucking money? And how much money are they asking for? 101,769 nice and 44 cents. Plus occurring interest, fees, and collection costs. Moral of the story, Phil Burnell is getting butt fucked financially. Here I am a couple weeks ago, gee whiz, the dark side was pretty boring this year. The biggest thing we have is the fucking cat and BAM! Here this fucking comes in. I love it. There was also the wedding, but that shit was pretty lame. The point is, the bank wants their money and they're not gonna fucking stop till they get it, Phil. I see this going down either one or two ways. Either you pay up, which you clearly can't. Your parents aren't gonna bail you out this time. You've bled the pay piggies dry as it fucking is. And the whale bait's been weak sauce. This is gonna be the hardest L for Phil to take, but damn it, he's gotta take it. And so far, how has the boy been taking it? Haha, <laughs> whoops. That's all you fucking got, Phil? Are you fucking kidding me? This is like your ride or die, fight for your life situation, and all you can do is go, ha ha ha, oops, you fucking jackass. That's gonna be my new catchphrase. Ha ha, whoops. Is that gonna hold up in court, Phil? Is the judge gonna be cool with your new catchphrase? And we all know what that's from. <laughs> that's my new catchphrase. I see we're taking this very seriously, Phil. Good job. If it fucking comes to it, Phil, you can't chuckle your ass out of a courtroom. I got one more clip plus some audio. Please tip me. Tipping helps me more than anything right now. Um, I, I you know, that gives those funds I can put to court. Yeah. Was that a slip of the tongue I sense? Let's play the clip back again. Please tip me. Tipping helps me more than anything right now. Um, I, I, you know, that gives those funds I can put to court. Yeah. I wonder what you could put this stuff towards, Phil. I really wonder. But it looks like Phil is just gonna hide this from his audience. A very smart move. Totally not gonna backfire. And how is his audience taking it? Is the Piggy Mafia and the Gout Cult taking this bullshit pretty well? And yes, guys, sorry that, that we have to be on one week follower mode. I apologize that because uh, for that because, uh... Why, Phil? Why do we have to be on one week follower mode? Is it because you're getting trolled and made fun of because of the foreclosure? I have to, uh... We, there were a lot of trolls today, a lot of assholes coming in spamming stupid shit. So we just had to set that up so that we could avoid the stupid ch chat spam. And the chat's been a lot better since I set it up, so... Hey, Phil, you're going to be going to court soon. You might as well find a better excuse, buddy. Judge isn't going to take the troll's excuse. Um, just to forewarn everyone, 
There was some trolling on stream earlier today, which is why earlier on I had it on a week-long follower mode. Usually I don't have it on that at all. Yeah, you usually don't kick that out unless you're really shitting your pants from all the trolling. Usually I do a very short followers mode if I need it. Um, but we had a lot of new troll accounts coming into the chat, like brand new accounts that only existed for a few hours. They're fresh accounts because a fresh meme was just birthed into the dark side of the internet. And it's called your fucking condo getting foreclosed upon, you dummy. Coming in and doing stupid troll shit, as usual. And so to curtail that, we it's put none it of anyone's followers business. only mode for a while. Then we, we, uh, we loosened it for tonight's stream a little bit. So we'll see what happens. If I need to put it back into a very large followers only mode, I'll have to. And I apologize for that. I, it kind of sucked because Snake Eater is a newcomer. He's only been watching my streams for about a week. And he couldn't even talk because of the followers only mode that I had to put on there because of the asshole trolls. Okay. Hey, Phil. Why are you dragging this random fucking dude in front of your trolls to be like, Look, you heard his, you, you, it's all your fault. He can't talk in my stream chat because you're too mean to him. And you're mean to him through me. Re. Dark, you're grasping at fucking straws, buddy. Take a breather, relax. You're only about to get DP'd by the court and the bank. No big deal. Hey, a, po a possum says, or excuse me, a posable says, in my chat frozen, is everyone asleep? See, what happened was Phil and the rest of the Pussy Patrol, a.k.a. the moderation team, banned basically fucking everybody. I'm down to talk with you guys and hang out and whatever you guys want to do while I play the game, you know? I'm right here if you want to chat. Yeah, I I'm sorry, Zeros Legai says, Phil's confused why chat is dead when it's in followers only mode. I'm sorry, I didn't want to put it in followers only mode. You had to do this, Phil. You couldn't have swallowed your pride, addressed the situation, and moved the fuck on like a man. We got a ton of trolls coming in here, spamming stupid shit, and all their accounts were made within like the last day, so I had to do it. You're just gonna keep acting like everything's fucking fine until when? When are you gonna tell people about this, Phil? Everybody already knows, you might as well just address it. Because, Phil, this is too big to hide. Unless you have been hiding it from certain people, like your wife. All I'm gonna say is anything is possible on the dark side of the internet, boys. Thank you so much for watching this really short shit post. I really wanted to get this out because... <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. If you want to learn more about this saga, I will leave the Kiwi Farms link. I will leave a video from Agent Proper and GTG's video on it. But that is it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe and make good choices.